Hey Virgo, how you doing? Good, I hope. Let's get into this. Ouch. Seven of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, the Emperor card. If you're new to the channel, what is up? My name is Leela. I reside in London, UK, and I'm also a Virgo. Shouts out to my turning subs. You know who you are. I appreciate you. <laughs> We're going to turn that frown upside down. Right. Please, guys, if you can interact with the video. Oh, I'm loving the bottom of the deck energy. Fantastic. Right. So to start off the reading, we have the Seven of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, the Emperor card. Maybe recently you kind of been... Uh, Realising that, you know, you've had your fair share of, this could be a particular person actually, or you could just be generally thinking about that. Only take what resonates and what doesn't let it slide. But this Seven of Swords energy, trust issues, you know, maybe you find it difficult to trust people. You've had your fair share of betrayal, people letting you down, that type of energy. I see a lot of reflective energy here with the Seven of uh, Pentacles. You know, reflecting, you know, I'm pretty sure as as being a Virgo, a very analytical sign, you really do read and pick up on people's energy. The bullshitters, the people that try to play you, take advantage of you. I see a lot of reflective energy with regards to other people's behaviour towards you. That Emperor card... It just gets to a point where not only is enough enough, but you kind of tell yourself, I just don't fucking care. Like, I can sniff your BS a mile off. I can see your intentions clear as day. You've tried to be snaky. Maybe you've tried to use me, take advantage of my kindness. And people really think that kindness is an opportunity to take advantage. Some people see kindness as a weakness, okay? But I love that Emperor card there. I think that's you almost not caring. You've done enough caring. A lot of you guys are wanting to take action here. A lot of you guys are wanting, you know, you have ideas. There's stuff that you want to do, Virgo. You want to live your life to your fullest. You want to push yourself as far as you can with regards to your potential that a lot of you guys have limitless potential unlimited potential the eight of pentacles here this is getting better at what it is that you do mastering a skill learning new things i do pick up on pick up on reflective energy and reflecting on yourself taking accountability um realizing you know maybe you want to push yourself further there's other things that you want to do type of energy and i'll tell you something i love this full card in the center of the reading this is you taking healthy risks this is you stepping outside your comfort zone hopefully the full card talks about new beginnings energetically a lot of you guys giving yourself a new beginning here um, and being optimistic being optimistic that tower card for me is almost like an act of god Sometimes unexpected changes happen. Sometimes you feel that within you. Sometimes we say to ourselves, like, who am I? What is my purpose? Where am I meant to be? What's my journey in this life? Sometimes we just have this energetic beginning where we shed our old ways and it could be a way of thinking. It could be the type of partners that you're attracting and, and you're just like you know what f this i'm gonna break it all down and i'm gonna start again i'm gonna rebuild i could be wrong but for a lot of you guys i definitely would will be right now the five of cups here sadness disappointment heartbreak a lot of you guys are trying to turn that around because quite frankly people in life are gonna freaking break your heart people are gonna let you down people are gonna disappoint you there's there's very few people that are gonna love you like how you love others Virgo and when we accept that and we make peace with that it really is um a magical thing that happens here the sun card 
I think a lot of you guys are no longer looking for outside validation, someone else to complete you. And I say that with a light-hearted energy because all of you guys know that it's not going to take another person to make you happy. Although as humans, we search for that, you know, we want companionship. We're social beings. But I feel like a lot of you guys are definitely in the space where happiness is starting with self happiness is coming from source coming from you keeping a positive mindset feeling inspired again i love that for a sword set i do feel like there has been heartbreak for some of you guys maybe recently or generally speaking you've had your fair share but it's like this is not going to define me you know what another person thinks about you is their opinion that's them that's not you that does not define you what defines you is how you react what defines you is how you feel about yourself the four of swords indicates slowing down taking time to kind of reflect i do feel this reflective energy in today's reading taking care of your tender heart knowing actually that you know it's not healthy to jump into another connection when you're still healing or getting over something from the past or a particular person. The four of swords is deep rest, it's TLC, it's going back to source, it's taking care of me. I have no idea <laughs> if this is gonna resonate with some of you guys. Sometimes I think that I'm waffling, but sometimes I just say what I feel is coming to me so let's talk about the seven of swords shall we why is the seven of swords here yes why is the seven of swords here why is the seven of swords here now this is either what i need to tell you or what you already know yeah you, you perhaps you've been lying to yourself for a go and when i say lying to yourself i mean you're kind of giving yourself false hope giving people the benefit of the doubt that don't deserve it okay i get this energy of you guys realizing actually i've been lying to myself this person or people or whatever you know i'm giving what am i getting back i'm constantly giving to other people what am i getting back it's, it's putting me out of alignment you know um i've been obsessing over things that i that just don't deserve it i've been letting a person take advantage of me or not treat me fairly or live in my head rent free there's been a lot of reflective energy and as a virgo sometimes we beat ourselves up about it but i feel like it's important to be kind to yourself and say do you know what i'm not my mistakes and i'm not going to repeat this shit i feel like that, uh you guys are, are really um becoming more resilient now and truthful with yourself yeah um you know a lot of you guys may be telling yourself yes i am guarded yes i do have trust issues yes i do worry if someone's going to take advantage of me it doesn't define me but the experiences that i've been through this didn't come from nowhere you know i'm not like this for no reason tell me more about the full card nice Oh, why you gotta fall on the floor? This is lovely though. The full card clarified by one more card. Why is the full card here? Okay, we've got two more cards, and I'm gonna take it. I see this sense of you guys being seeing shit really clearly now being very truthful to yourself i ain't taking no bullshit anymore i'm not taking um breadcrumbs no more being breadcrumbed no more being gaslighted no more dealing with narcissistic behavior people that just are bullshit people that just want to give me false hope keep me at arm's length i'm putting myself first i know who i am i remember who i am and what i bring to the table i am the prize you are the prize baby opportunities are coming here for you and i feel like, like for a lot of you guys that's because you're concentrating on yourself tell me 
I don't think I need to clarify anything. I think you guys are any more cards. I think you guys are in good energy. Um, looking at the bottom of the deck, I see major changes spiritually, mentally, emotionally. A lot of you guys are concentrating on your career. A lot of you guys are disconnecting either from love or a particular person. People that give you false hope. People that make you feel confused. People that want to argue with you when you're trying to express yourself or something like that. Don't you hate people like that? Hey, wait a minute. I'm trying to express how I feel and you want to turn it into an argument or turn it around on you. It's not about you right now. I'm just expressing how I feel. Who's coming towards Virgo in love? Who or what is coming towards Virgo in love? Yes, yes, yes. Nine of Cups is wanting to show itself there. Page of Cups really wants to come out too. Who or what is coming towards Virgos in love? Dreams do come true. People can have their happy endings, Virgo. Who or what is coming towards Virgos in love? Let's get one more card, please. There we go. Nine of Pentacles wanting to show itself there. This is gratitude. This is you keeping a positive mindset. This is you uh, reclaiming your personal power, your independence, having a positive attitude towards yourself towards others towards the world the universe the nine of cups manifestation is at play here i feel like a lot of you guys are manifesting love but at the same time it's like if i'm single that's cool if love comes it's cool it's a healthy place to be virgo it's a very specific message for some of you guys who are meant to hear this but hats off to you virgo i really do feel your vibration Remember, you can book me for a personal reading. Just get in touch. You can follow me on the socials and you can catch me for live tarot. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you'd like to donate today, you're not obliged to do so, but I'm always appreciative of anyone that wants to donate. Um, there is a PayPal link. All right. As I always say, from one Virgo to another, be kind to others, but most importantly, be kind to you and the gift that will catch you on the rebound. Take care, my loves. Mwah.